Good morning guys from Northern Ontario. As you can see it's a cold one, it's snowed. Uh, we've got to get out metal detecting today because my new toy came in. It's the White's TRX Bullseye and as you can see it was a little expensive. So we're going to take it down to the waterfront and test it out and see if it's worth its weight in gold. So I just wanted to show you guys briefly this TRX. I did a lot of research and originally I had just bought a cheap one, um, I guess from China. I didn't realize that when I bought it and it never showed up. So after uh, doing all my videos that I've done and, and doing this hobby for the last couple months, I realized how important one of these could be. And I did a ton of research and I settled on the White's TRX Bullseye. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, the distance on this thing, you can pick up coins at about five inches and uh, it's got you know, lots of settings for vibrate, uh, sensitivity, sound, you can pick any of those. All the top end ones do. Um, but this one has a replaceable case as well. So you don't have to replace the whole thing if you're digging in the dirt, which I'm not planning on doing, but you can just buy for 30 bucks a new case and put your insides in that. It's waterproof to 10 feet. And uh, the only strange thing that I wanted to mention uh, is that I read the whole manual and there was nothing in the manual that it comes with about setting the sensitivity. And there's a couple of videos online that I eventually tracked it down. So I'm just gonna tell you guys real briefly how you do it. You uh, turn the machine on, it's only one button. So you turn it on and it's on, it's ready to go. And uh, I've got my ring here, I'll just show you guys. So I have mine set on the maximum sensitivity and with a coin I can go about five inches. And um, how you change the sensitivity is when you go to shut it off, you hold the button down uh, and you don't let go after half a second. Like, if you let go, there it's off. Turn it back on. We're gonna keep holding it in until we hear a second beep, then we'll let go, and then immediately press the button again, and then keep holding it down, and that takes you through the four levels of sensitivity. It's not even in their book, uh, which I find really strange. So you see guys doing comparisons online all the time of the Garrett and this, they don't say what sensitivity they're set, that their machine is set on. This comes on sensitivity, two or three, I'm not sure, it's not maxed out. So just to be sure guys, make sure you turn up the sensitivity and why not leave it on full? Because it has a ratcheting feature. As you're, as you're getting in close to your item, push the button and it lowers, it lowers the sensitivity until you get closer. So you ratchet down the sensitivity on this thing until you pinpoint exactly where it is. So why not leave it on full all the time? But anyway, let's get out in the field. We'll give it a try today, and I'm sure this is gonna be a lifesaver. So wish me luck. Ugh, surprising, there's nobody on the beach today. Canadian beach and it's only minus four. I thought everybody would be out here, but as you guys can see, the water's way down. It's usually, uh, I don't know, 50 feet higher than that. So I'm gonna make my way down to that point. And this might be a good spot uh, just to try out the new pinpointer. So let's give it a go. Oh, there we go. First find of the day. <laughs> Somebody lost a set of keys. Uh, didn't even have to dig, they were just under the snow. So I'll uh, have to find somewhere to leave those back at the parking area, I guess. Okay, so uh, I've come up to the path here that everybody uses and uh, I do have a signal here. So the pinpointer's helping me already. It's, it's right there. Let's see what it is. Well, not very exciting for the first find with the TRX, but man, did it uh, speed up my recovery time. Probably, I don't know, like half. Just stuck it in the hole, yep, item's still in the hole, and keep going. Okay, third item, so I uh, got another signal, took a little dig here. Guess what? Still in the hole, I'm loving this thing. I love it, and it loves nails. <laughs> oh my god, metal detecting has never been so easy. There's the hole, nothing in it. Let's see what it is. Yeah, nothing exciting, but boy did I find it quick. So I've gotten pretty good with the pinpointing on the Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro. I can get, you know, I mean within a couple inches usually, but here's a classic example of uh, missing the target. So I'm down here checking and it's kind of going off come up to the top of the edge of the hole. I just missed this target. So again, freaking invaluable tool right here. This is gonna make my hobby so much better. Yep, it's cold out here. Anyway, got a signal here. The beach is frozen. I'm still gonna dig it up. It's all just a matter of getting through that first layer of ice. 
once you do that, it's easy digging. A lot of work for a pop can. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Oh, my hole is filling up with water. But what I wanted to show you guys was this layer on the side. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, that layer right there, it's got shiny chunks of, I don't know, pyrite or something in there. And that's making the detector go off and the pin pointer. But it's all, all over the hole. It's the same thing with the last hole I dug. Uh, get a real dark mineralized soil patch and it was making everything go off. So I've never really done too much stuff on the beach before, so learning as I go. So just looking around at my feet out here, I've walked out to a little island, and I see uh, one beer cap there, another beer cap over here, right there. They're all over the place, so it's probably not even worth my time. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, see what I can dig up, but looks like I found the drinking rock. Yeah, what a trashy spot. I've had to uh, lower the sensitivity down to five on the machine. I was running at seven all the way up the beach. I got some uh, metal plate here. I don't know what that's from. But it's uh, right full of beer caps and uh, pull tabs and definitely uh, a drinking zone. Well, and junk too. Not the smartest crowd by the look of it. I've never been able to figure this out. You go to a beautiful beach that you're gonna swim on. It's all nice sand out here for miles. Let's go drinking and smash our bottles where we're gonna be walking in our bare feet all the time. There's green glass, there's brown glass, there's hidden glass. Just not the smartest crowd, really. And the most dangerous kind of glass. The clear glass, right there. I would take the time to clean some of this up, but it's unbelievable the amount that's out here. Like every six inches there's glass. So I'm just gonna move on and forget that this dirty place exists. But before I do, I gotta pick up the surface find. First coin. Uh, ooh, the water's cold. It's a quarter. Maybe I'll look around some more before I go. <laughs> yeah, so I was getting a pretty good signal there in that hole and I'm using this ice shelf to put my stuff out on. Water's cold. It's, it's just a lot of work to be working out in the water. Let's see what this is and then I think I'm going to move out of the water. Ah, I dropped my mitt. <laughs> and all for a stupid beer cap. <sighs> my thumb is so cold that my phone doesn't even recognize my fingerprint anymore. Feel like one of those Alaskan icebreakers. Oh, another beer cap. No doubt. But I'm gonna be stupid enough to dig it up. I'm already wet. All right, let's let's find what it is. Yeah. So as you can tell from the redness of my hand, it was easier just to use the TRX and get in there and grab it. And again, another stupid beer cap. So we're done with that. It's just too cold for that today. Well, the local beaches are no better than the playgrounds. You get the same crap. But I gotta say, I am loving the pinpointer. It's making my life so much easier. God, don't even hesitate guys, just buy one. Okay, I got another treasure here somewhere in this pile. Right there. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It doesn't feel like metal, but my fingers are frozen, so what do I know? But it's making the uh, pinpointer go off. Well, chalk another one up for the uh, TRX. I don't know what it is. It's really light. More junk. Put a hole in the ground here and you only got a matter of time to reach in and get it or you're getting wet. Nope, it's still in there somewhere and I'm not digging any deeper than that.
If you're that big, you're a pop can or a beer can. My curiosity is just not that high today. So apparently that's what frozen aluminum foil looks like. Fooled me once, foil. But you won't fool me again. Oh, camera's pointing the wrong way. There, that's better. Yeah, another bust. Well, the gold color had me for a second there, but... <sighs> well, I can tell you this, no one is ever going to be able to accuse me of seeding my videos, that's for sure. Sorry I haven't found anything more interesting, guys, but it is what it is. Well, I got angry at this hole. It goes down another 10 inches there. Just kept going off and seeing there's something there, so I thought, oh, I'm going to dig it up. I don't know what this is. It's freaking heavy. I'm going to say an old sword. Yep, just because I can give her a good cleaning off. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, more junk. Ah, see, it's a ring. Don't argue. It's my video. If I say it's a ring, it's a ring. Fits fantastic, too. Look at that. So, I just wanted to say that uh, the TRX really, really improves the outing. Makes it a, a much better, faster hobby. Um, but I also want to say that learning the hard way over the last two months with just the machine and using the pinpointer on the machine uh, it's kind of, I equate it to when I learned photography. We learned everything on uh, film uh, systems with manual settings on everything. And it's kind of the same way with this pinpointing. Uh, I've used learned to use the machine and figure out where things are. And I can really narrow it down. And this is just like the, the golden touch at the end that really helps. But you still need those manual uh, skills. And so I, I don't blame, you know, myself for taking the long route to get here I guess it's uh, I've learned a lot the pinpointer definitely is worth every penny so go ahead and grab one if you can guys if you don't have one I can't say anything about cheap ones or not but this uh, TRX is absolutely amazing it's everything I hoped it would be